Welcome to the Kara Michelle Show, where we break out of the matrix together and return heaven to earth. This is a place for the spiritual seekers and leaders, the dreamers and doers, the conscious creators and world changers. You can expect a little bit of this, a little bit of that, but mostly a whole lot of purpose, freedom, and sovereignty. And of course, all things quantum. May this podcast serve you in remembering the truth of who you are, all that you came here to do, and how deeply supported you are in doing it. You are incredibly powerful and your mission is protected. So it's time to dial up your frequency and recalibrate to your higher self and limitless potential. Get ready, because we're about to blast off. A new reality awaits you on the other side. I'll see you there. Hello, hello. There is a pattern taking place in the collective right now. A sense of clearing some really big things and a bit of chaotic energy as a lot is moving up to the surface once again. And I wanted to come on and just speak about it because I've had multiple people message me in the last week or so about this showing up in different areas of their life and just feeling very ungrounded and wondering what's going on. And so, as always, when I'm looking at energy and where I guess I want to start with this is that when there is densities or heaviness or things that is not our true divine nature so those lower vibrational emotions are things that can get trapped in our mental body physical body emotional body energetic body in all the different layers and as i've said on other topics or uh, episodes There isn't necessarily anything such as negative because it's all about your perspective and your focal point. Something could be seen as negative now because it was uncomfortable or it was painful. But when you look at it from a different lens or when time has passed, you might actually go, wow, that was a great gift or that was one of my biggest lessons or that was the catalyst and turning point for xyz and my whole life changed right so negative and positive um kind of have the perspective that we give them but right now what a lot of people are experiencing is this sense that even though they've been doing the inner work and even though they feel like they've been clearing a lot there is just a lot that's still coming up and some things that are causing easy triggers and that stressful kind of overwhelm energy because you're like why is this happening and I know for myself I was going through that a couple weeks ago and I had a few days that were incredibly tough and like a rock bottom of sorts unlike anything I felt for years and it was just like all the trauma all the grief all the things were I almost, it almost felt like the sense of all these little energies or little particles, (laughs) I don't know why I said it that way, particles vibrating. And it's like when you see uh, like a science experiment and something starts to heat up and now the water's starting to boil and it's like bubbling, 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 and it's about to, you know, burst or the steam is about to come shooting out of the kettle because the particles sped up and the energy has to move somewhere and what I feel like we've kind of been going through in this little portal window is a lot of people seeing that happen with some of those heavier emotions so it's almost like these things that are not really serving you anymore there may be beliefs or patterns or experiences or yeah just this heaviness that's been in your vessel for long enough and it's finally ready to go either because your higher self needs it to go and the future timeline you're stepping into uh, is free of it like you cannot take it where you're going or because God 
a higher power is saying like it's time to hand this over and let this go or because mother earth herself and the energy shifts and the ascension that's taking place on the planet with the energy grids and everything is also being like it's time to move this energy so personally i think it's a combo of all three you know your higher self a higher power and the earth because we're all working in tandem together especially all those who are here bringing change to the planet who are on mission and maybe classify yourself as like a star seed or a light worker or maybe you don't even have those labels but you're what I call like an undercover light worker <laughs> you're kind of like uh aware of the matrix and you're doing your job to like shift certain systems or patterns or just support people with breaking out of struggle and suffering so you're you're on mission you know whatever label you give yourself but if you are one of those souls and if you're resonating with this message then yes you may have been feeling like lots has been coming up to the surface lately and this is exactly why and Oh, I spoke about it on a quick little voice note inside the new Telegram group I've created, which if you want to be a part of the new community and just connect with other like-minded people, the link for that is in the description. And you can, you know, connect, share resources, support each other through this, and then get little messages or downloads from me as I go, little mini shares every once in a while. What I spoke about in there today was how you know with the seasonal change we've been planting seeds in the spring i know for myself like big changes began in the springtime and then summer was kind of like fine tuning that and readjusting redirecting making the necessary changes uh having a lot of illumination with boundaries or what do I actually want? What do I not want? What did I think I want that doesn't feel aligned anymore? And the fall or autumn is kind of that harvest time. And you see the bountiful harvest with like Thanksgiving or any kind of traditional things in the fall. And everything that has been growing uh, has been cultivated and now we get to kind of reap the rewards or have the fruits of our labor before going into slowing down and recovering in the winter time. I think with the really strong energies that have been taking place this year, what I personally am feeling and again am sensing from those of the people in my community who have, you know, I have connected with or we have chatted a bit is this theme of like <laughs> you've been working so hard and you have been doing this inner work and transmuting things and continuing to elevate and rise above and trying to keep the faith trying to hold the light you know and just desiring to see the physical fruits of your labor and it's like it's still kind of being held from you and this abundant harvest that you expected to be here. Um, <laughs> I was just going to say middle of October, but it's, <laughs> it's end of September. So that shows where my time, time management and time awareness is at. Um, but like even for end of September, you know, kind of thinking, oh yeah, these things will be ready by this time. And they're not. And if you're feeling that, please don't get defeated. Please don't get disheartened. I know for myself, I had to go through a little bit of a like self pep talk the other day of like, okay, Kara, wow, the goals you set for yourself are pretty far, <laughs> pretty far from being met. And your old self would feel a lot of negativity or judgment towards that but we don't want to continue those patterns. And if we take a look at how far you've come, the new foundation you've put in place, the things you navigated along the way that you couldn't prepare or plan for, you know, all the unexpected curveballs and things like that. Look at how far you've come. And also 
realize how close you actually are. So even though the harvest maybe hasn't manifested for you fully in the physical 3D reality yet, and it's not there right this second as you're listening to this, think about how close you are. And if you even picture a ruler or a scale of zero to a hundred, zero being the very beginning, obviously, like how far along would you say you are? And when you have that number, then expand it or like sprinkle in some magic (laughs) because you have a loving creator and a supportive universe that's literally backing you in what you desire and in what is of the highest good for you and for the collective and so you're probably even closer than your logical mind thinks and if you can continue to keep that faith and hold that vision it can materialize and it will materialize even faster because the groundwork is done so with that said the closer we get to the harvest, the closer we get to reaping the rewards, the closer we are to the vibrational shift of that new reality, of that new timeline, of that desire being manifest. And that means anything remaining that isn't a match, anything remaining that doesn't serve you or that reality is going to bubble up to the surface like the steam in the kettle until it erupts. So allow those emotions to move through you. And I'm I'm also bringing this to the table today because it had a beautiful energy, like, whoa, crazy powerful energy healing session with my friend Christina. And one of the things she mentioned to me at the end had to do with like acknowledging the pattern or acknowledging the shadow because if we just bypass it or if we try to just cover it up with light and I've been guilty of that in the past I either try to just find the positive immediately or yeah take some kind of twist to it to move forward And what I loved about her reminder was that like you want to acknowledge the shadow or the anger or the frustration or the bitterness and see that that emotion is a marker. And again, it's a teacher and it's saying like what you've been doing in the past wasn't aligned. Otherwise, you wouldn't be angry. Right. Or, you know, X, Y, Z wouldn't be triggering you that way if it weren't a sign that you knew on a soul level that you deserved more. So if you are having shadows coming up to the surface, if you feel like you're clearing a lot of extra density right now, take a moment to reflect on that and look at what is that mirroring to you? What is that showing you? If you're feeling frustrated because you don't have something and you've worked so hard, which let's just keep sharing a personal example. I think a lot of people relate. (laughs) I was listening to uh, my quantum hypnosis, my free money activation the other night after I recorded the, the last podcast about my client's million dollar year. I was listening to the activation and I was looking at like, what's the current money story? And the current money story was anger and frustration of how much effort I've put in over the last however many years and how little I feel I have to show for it. Uh, And it was like strong. It was so strong in my body of like really deep frustration towards that and blame and projection and throwing that at everything, including myself. And immediately as I had that emotion come up and all these things, you know, to the surface I heard I believe God higher self some kind of higher guidance but it felt like it was God just saying like (laughs) uh my child you aren't meant to effort to receive your abundance that's why your effort and your abundance aren't aligning uh and it was said more eloquently than that I think but just basically the premise of like 
yes, you've efforted and you don't have all the things to show for it that you expected to have, but that's because I'm not here to reward your effort. Your worth isn't in your effort. Your hustling or burnout or trying all these things or operating from fear and desperation and lack and scarcity and needing to be better all the time. Uh, that's not what you're here for, my dear one. <laughs> like, I want to reward you for your light. I want to reward you for your play. I want to reward you for your excitement, for your overflow, for your pleasure, for your joy, for your love, for your creativity. There are a million things I want to reward you for, but effort and force and hustle is not on that list. And I burst out into tears as I received that message because it's so true. And I know as a projector in human design, that's one of our biggest challenges because we don't typically have the same level of energy to work. <laughs> we're like not here to work. We're just here to guide and we're here to guide energy to move more fluidly, to uh, work better. We're here to like optimize systems. And I wasn't doing that. I wasn't embodying my leadership. I wasn't embodying my guide, my wisdom, because I was so busy efforting all the time and trying to prove myself through how hard I was trying to work or prove myself by trying to keep up with other people or what I thought was normal, what I thought was expected and needed in order to succeed. So I share that message with you as that closing piece of maybe the exact reason that you haven't quite yet received the harvest and haven't quite yet opened up to all the things you've been working to this year and maybe the reason why some more things are coming up to the surface right now is because a higher power wants you to understand that your worth isn't in your work ethic and your hustling and overworking isn't what's going to bring you the reward. It's actually your alignment and it's actually your willingness to receive for that alignment and your willingness to lean back and rest and know that you're worthy already instead of thinking you have to do more. So with all of that said, if you've been feeling ungrounded or just overwhelmed by a lot lately, you're not alone. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with you. You are so deeply supported through all of it. Uh, I highly encourage you, as I said, to take the time to like sit with it, look at it, reflect on it, work through it. Uh, just be with it don't feel like you need fixing but having that acknowledgement so that you can understand what it's teaching you what it's reflecting back to you and then once again getting hyper clear on like what is actually going to feel good for you moving forward so that a future version of you isn't still in the same place struggling and fighting and resisting reality and instead you are openly receiving for your gifts and your unique way of being so i'm sending you so much love and holding you and your mission your vision in the highest and knowing that all the most incredible things are about to unfold for you and you are supported in this so please don't give up hold on to that and yeah, I will talk to you very soon.